What is going on, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. After Sound here, bringing you Splinterlands content every single day. We also stream right here in this channel every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday morning. So come by and say hello. All right, guys, let's talk about Killer Whales because the episodes are actually already out. Now, we were talking about it coming to Apple TV in March, which it still is. But if you want, you can actually go purchase the episodes on the website directly and today uh, February 22nd is when the third episode the one that was about crypto gaming and the one that Aggie is on to represent Splinterlands actually released and so we had some folks that went out and actually bought the website uh, bought the episode I think it's like three bucks but you have to buy it in their token right the hello token uh, so I'm going to give a shout out here to Jedi Elf because this is the first review that we saw this was posted here in the Maverick house on Discord but people all over uh, uh, Twitter X and you know the rest of Discord have already been talking and saying very positive things about it so far. So he says here, uh, okay, so Agro smash it on Killer Whales. The whole episode built up to SPL, and the delivery was good enough. I really think the team needs to have as much in place as possible for when this goes live on Apple TV. Any low lift, uh, you know, non non player experience, or sorry, new player experience, uh, and work with multiple streamers to create scripted intro videos so that non crypto people can get involved easily. The number of people that this could go uh, that could give this a go could be nuts, right? Apple TV has like twenty five. Uh, million subscribers, right? 50 million additional viewers. So there, there's a lot of folks. That doesn't mean that they're all going to go watch this on Apple TV. But it, again, it's not just it's not just the fact that it's Apple TV. It's the fact that this is being pushed out by Hello, right? I think it's called Hello TV, which is the the studio or the project that made these episodes. And then Apple TV is just a large streamer that you can direct people to that a lot of people are subscribed to, including myself, right? So maybe not everybody, but, um, you know, it has become a prolific and actually a very good streaming service in my opinion, but that's, that's a bit of an aside. So I, I think that this is awesome. This actually gets me really excited because the fact is we are going to start riding the wave now with it potentially reaching, you know, even higher heights at a point in about a month from now, right? When it, whenever it comes out uh, on, on Apple TV. And I believe it'll go live on the 11th of March. But again, I don't know if all the episodes drop on the same day or if it'll be a weekly drop, which would mean, you know, March 25th is when the third episode would drop if the first one drops on the 11th. So... To me, this is really exciting. This makes me super, I mean, I'm obviously super bullish already on Splinterlands, but I wanted to just take a moment here to, I, I want to take a moment here to put out a request. And you guys know I don't request much out of you. And I'm only talking even about like specifically within this YouTube channel, but obviously I, I think that this would be beneficial throughout anywhere that people are talking about Splinterlands. I think it's important for us to be on our best behavior now, because if there's a lot of eyeballs coming in, they may look at, you know, just the community banter that we have, a lot of the disagreements that we have with people that we may know um, and may not even like, whatever the case is, and they may look at it as, you know, a very dysfunctional community. Now, I'm not saying that we are or aren't a dysfunctional community. Obviously, there's certain things that we can definitely improve on. But at the end of the day, what you don't want to do is scare people off by creating an atmosphere that is unwelcoming and looks hostile, right? Uh, just because of the way that a lot of people interact with one another. So here's the thing. I, I, I'm, it's, it's free speech, right? You, you can say what you want. Uh, so I'm not going to try and control that. If you want to FUD the project, go ahead and FUD the project. But my, my recommendation... My suggestion at this point in time is, you know, people are always putting out or trying to put out really great suggestions. And sometimes a lot of that comes from frustration. I would say, let's try to be a little bit more constructive now. We know where the team is at. We know where the team's focused. And while that may not be what we all really want, uh, at the end of the day, we all got to get on board because it is, it is what it is. And hopefully after this period of time, which could be transformational for Splinterlands and the ecosystem as a whole... Um, you know, we, we could be, I, again, I, I made a video about this a little while ago. We could be in a completely different place as a community, as a game, as a project, as an ecosystem, as a token price, right? In, in just a couple of months. So uh, again, I, this is not a price prediction. I'm not trying to say that. I'm just saying when, you know, if demand goes up, supply stays the same. You do the math, right? You do, you do the economics behind that. So, you know, at, at the end of the day, it's, it's just like, I, I don't know. To me, this is a really exciting time. And, uh, you know, I'm not even going to say that I've been guilty of, of being very critical. And, and to be honest, even now, I look at the player experience and while I'm excited for it, what do I really want? Just being honest with you. Like, I want guilds. 
I want tournament updates. I, I want guild updates. I want tournament updates. None of that is on the roadmap, right? And I've been saying that for a while. So I've been consistent because all that stuff was supposed to happen last year. It didn't. It got shelved for land. It got shelved for now this, you know, player experience. But all I'm trying to say is let's trust where the team is trying to go. Let's give it a little bit of time. And if you're still like unhappy and unsatisfied, just understand that we are entering into the early phases of what hopefully will be a bull run similar to 2021 and 2020 or 2017, right? The Bitcoin halving is just a couple of months away. Things could get really exciting here. So it's like, if you need to take a little break from the game, just because it's been so frustrating in many ways, now is not a now is not a terrible time to just hodl, right? Now is not a terrible time to just let things go and hodl. So that's my request. I humbly ask it. I'm not perfect. I've definitely been, you know, on the critical end many times in the past as well. But it's a reminder to myself first and foremost. <clears throat> excuse me. It's a reminder to myself first and foremost. And um, you know, just just trying to get excited for what could potentially happen over not just the next two months, but the next 18 months here within the space. Although I will say. If, the, if this is our first chance to really get a lot of eyeballs checking out the game since 2021, this is a tremendous opportunity. So let's do everything we can to make it as welcoming of a place as possible. Uh, and however you want to do that, that's fine. I'm just saying it's something to keep in mind. So that is all I have for you guys in this video. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Otherwise, I will catch you all in the next one and see you around the game. Take care.